okay let's do one more question from this sample paper so far i have solved many questions from this sample paper and this will be continue so today we are going to solve this 47 and if you are interested then you can look at i have made the separate playlist for this sample paper where i am solving question and uh, from linear algebra we have solved all the question from this sample paper uh, few questions from machine learning also i have solved few questions from probability and today we will be looking at this probability question that question number 47 and few questions from dvms so at the end you will have the maximum solution from this the sample paper okay let's look at this question number 42 we have given that let let one two three represents the possible outcome of random experiment with this equal probability so all these are equally likely and if these are equally likely then probability of each will be one by four right consider the following event so we have given this p q r s event which of the following statement is true you will have to find that p q are independent p and q are not independent r and s are independent q and s are not independent so what we can do simply we can pick our events that is let's let's go option by option so this so um, okay before that uh, you need to know that if two events that probably if two events are independent then their intersection will be then the probability of their intersection will be probability of a into probability of b so this is the condition for the independence right then we can call we can calculate this we can calculate this this and this if this agrees this uh, equation then we can call it the event if event a and b are independent <laughs> according to first option we have to check for p and q right so if you calculate this uh, probability of p intersection q so you see that p has 1 2 and q has 2 3 so 2 is common right so the intersection will be probability of 2 and here each event is equally likely so probability of 2 will be 1 by 4 now let's calculate this right hand side so if you calculate this probability of p then we have total two elements here out of four so here we will have two divided by four that is one by two all right so probability of happening either one or two so two divided by four and probability of q will be again two divided by four that is one by four uh, one by two now now if you take the product this probability of p into probability of q that will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 1 by 4 so these two are equal that means p and q are independent so p and q are independent so this statement is true similarly we can check for this then this statement will be false because not independent that means dependent so if this is true then this will be false now let's check for r and s so look at this r and s so we have intersection and the intersection will be so we have three common here and we have three common here so the probability of r intersection s will be 1 by 2 that will be probability of 3 right and if we calculate the probability of r that will be 1 by 2 because we have 2 so 2 divided by 4 and if we calculate the probability of s here we will have 3 divided by 4 right so if if we take the product of this then it will be 3 divided by 8 and this 3 divided by 8 is not equal to this 1 by 2 so these two are dependent dependent so r and s are independent so this statement is false they are dependent 
now let's check for q and s that is statement 4 so q and s so in q and s we have these two common right so the probability of q intersection s will be equal to probability of 2 comma 3 that will be 2 divided by 4 that will be 1 by 2 okay here, here it will be 1 by 4 right anyhow this this is not going to be equal so that so this is 1 divided by 2 and if we calculate probability of q then it will be q so here it will be 1 by 2 and if we calculate probability of s then it will be uh, 3 divided by 4 that will be then if we take the product of this then we will get 3 divided by 8 so this 3 divided by 8 and this 1 divided by 2 is not equal that means they are dependent so q and s are not independent that means this statement is saying that q and s are dependent so this statement is true right okay so for this question number 47 a and d is the correct statement right uh, let's look if we have any other probability question mm. so this one is easy right 33 uh, I do not have to solve this in x is uniformly distributed random array from 0 to a so x is uniformly distributed from 0 to a then we have given this probability density function then you have to calculate the variance of x so if you know the formula for the uh, uniformly distributed function there is nothing but p minus a divided by uh, 12 right square so b is this one 1 minus 0 square divided by 12 that is the correct one right okay okay uh, we will do more question in next videos okay thank you